Hello Sagittarius, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing phenomenal. I hope everything is great for you and you are in the greatest spirit ever. Okay, so let's take a look and see what is going on with my Saggies at this time. Of course, if you're new, welcome. If you are returning, welcome here. Okay, so let's get started. But before we get started, actually, uh, if you are interested in a personal reading, all of my information is below where we could go in depth with your situation. Okay, currently. Okay, or what your person's thinking and what they're not telling you, Sagittarius. So at the bottom of the deck here, we have an energy of someone possibly holding back. Okay, someone here possibly also holding on. So you may find that um, in this coming month here, there is this energy of someone that is connecting with you, but you feel like they're not really opening up. Okay, whether this is a new person, old person, I feel like someone here is not really um, giving you exactly what it is that you're truly wanting to know. There's some sort of mystery in this person's energy, okay, that may be going on currently for you, okay? And again, this could be new energy or old, take it how it resonates for yourself. Um, for a lot of my Sagittarius, you're choosing to actually hold back from love here and really focus on yourself and focus on your growth. Okay, what do we all see here? We also have an energy of a lot of options uh, that you may be um, encountering or a lot of people wanting to come towards you, okay? This doesn't have to be. For some of you, this may be an energy of you just feeling confused about a connection that you are currently still connecting with or feeling to some extent, okay? Another thing that I'm getting here is in the coming months here, there may be this question of what do I want to do with my career, okay? What do I want to do with my stability? at this time here and there is this energy of feeling somewhat overwhelmed okay i'm trying to learn something new or i'm trying to uh figure something out in terms possibly of a connection or terms of my future and i'm feeling this energy of confusion that is coming in for me at this time so a lot of you are possibly going to have to make a decision and in, in, um, pertaining to um, a situation i feel like this is a past situation that's currently keeping you in this energy of what do i do with this right what do i do with this situation what do i do with this person how do i move forward with this connection okay yeah what do i do okay so some of you are in this place where it's uh, you know i'm feeling as if in order to have my peace and balance i have to um accept that this is something that may or may not be going in my favor okay so some of you may feel like you know i've given a lot to a certain connection here and i'm looking for this energy of peace this energy of healing here with the temperance energy okay so someone here i feel like again it's like they've been holding back or you feel like they struggle with communication and you will be patient for some time but i feel like there's a strong energy of maybe i should walk away from the things that are not serving me any longer walking away from the um mindset of constantly trying to carry this relationship on my back or constantly trying to do everything right i feel like there is this energy of i'm feeling somewhat depleted here okay and then interestingly enough as you decide to really focus on yourself and focus on your healing it seems as if there's an offer that comes in for you or something that comes in um for me what i'm getting is like there's this epiphany of this oh, okay this is how i should go about this or this is the career path i should go into or this is what this person truly feels about me but i feel like it comes in when you're patient right once you're patient and once you decide to really focus on you something comes in here it could be some sort of communication here uh, this could be with a libra it could be with a fire sign as well but i do see someone here wanting to bring balance where there wasn't balance in the past like let's talk let's connect right let's um get this energy of fairness in here okay but I, if you haven't been speaking to someone i feel like this person uh wants to talk to you they want to make something fair but the question is are you going to be open to this person okay are you going to be open to this new person or this past person because i do feel like this is someone here that really wants to get a message to you okay take that how that resonates this could have been someone here that could have been very guarded um for a number of reasons in the past they've turned you away um in the past here especially when it comes to expressing their emotions they didn't really do that but i do see something coming in for you here okay which brings in balance okay let's see what else is going on for my sagittarius here okay now this is a, uh, a message that comes in for you that actually makes 
that puts you in this energy of confusion, I feel, because I feel like this is something that you possibly, and it's, this could just be love, right? This is something that I possibly didn't want to restart again, or this is something that I didn't think that was going to restart. And here this person comes in again, okay, wanting to speak, or here comes love again, right? Wanting to um, pull my heartstrings, and I'm a bit nervous about it because I just walked away from something. So for some of you, it's like I just walked away from a situation, and here the universe comes in, bringing in this uh, charming energy towards me uh, once again here, okay? Whoever this person is, wanting something with me, wanting a relationship here, okay? What else do we have for my Sagittarius? Okay, we have there's still hope here. Okay, this could be someone that you've been watching or someone that's also watching you. Okay, and it's interesting because I feel like uh, this person watched you walk away and they didn't really say anything. They didn't really try to work on it. But now I feel like this person's finding the courage to actually say something or actually try to work this connection out here. Okay, so someone here is not really giving up on this energy okay yeah someone feels like you're their person right i've made some mistakes i've definitely didn't give you what you deserved but now i'm wanting to possibly work things out sagittarius you were so patient with this person i feel like you definitely tried so many different things or so many different tactics to try to understand where this person was coming from or understand this person's logic but at some point it became too much here Okay, it became too much on your soul. It became too much on your energy. What else do we have for my Sagis, please? Going into this one. Yeah, this person didn't want to commit, right? For a lot of you, I will warn you, there is someone that's coming towards you, okay, that is telling you that they possibly want a relationship or want something new. Listen to this person, hear them out, because I do get this energy of this person having some sort of fear in terms of committing, okay, because of certain things that they've went through in the past. They're possibly still looking back at these lessons here, okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so interesting because it's like, although this person is afraid of commitment, they feel like you're their dream come true. They feel like you're their person, right? And at first it may be um, this energy of a lot of loss, a lot of attraction, a lot of conversation happening. But again, we have this energy of, hmm, I don't know if I truly want to commit. And I feel like this is something that may make you feel overwhelmed, okay? Because it's like, I don't know if I have time for this again, right? I don't know if I want to really commit to someone that doesn't really know what they want. Red flags, right? Um, this person could tell you like, hey, I'm not looking for anything serious, which, you know, to me, you know, that's, you know, that's right there. Um, you know, I'm not going to try to change your mind, right? And I feel like that's what a lot of my Sagis are thinking at this time. It's like, if you don't want to commit and I want uh, something stable and consistent, I'm not too sure if this is going to be a dream come true for me. But for some reason here, I feel like this person doesn't really want to completely let you go. So, you know, that's free will in terms of what you decide to do with this connection. But I do get this energy of fear in this person's energy, this energy of being resistant, reluctant, Okay, this person didn't want to commit in the past. It's like they don't want to commit to telling you how they feel. Okay, they were afraid of commitment. Another message I'm getting is this person could have been afraid of commitment in the past, but now it's like, I didn't think I was going to meet this person. Sagittarius, this could be you. Like, I didn't think I was going to meet this person. Okay. I didn't think I was going to actually meet somebody that um, would actually open up my horizons here, okay? But take it slow, Sagis, of course, right? Take it very slow, okay? Someone could still be healing from another situation that they're coming from again, all right? So, you know, be sure of what this person's intentions are. Um, you know, feel their energy out. I'm not going to take that. And we have lust trying to pop out again, okay? So, you know... I do feel like this may start out very quickly for some of you, okay? That is if you're dealing with someone new, okay? And we have reunion. Someone wants to reconnect with you, basically, okay? Someone that has a lot of regrets, someone that is very sorry. I'm sorry for overwhelming you in the past. I'm sorry for ruining what we have or what we had, okay? But I do get someone here wanting to speak with you. This could be someone um, that lives in the same town as you or this person's at a distance here. Okay, we're getting a lot of water. It could be a water sign that you're connecting with. 
all right? Or an air sign here with this energy. How could we fix this, Sagittarius? How could we do this? All right, for some of you, you may tell this person you've moved on, or you may tell this person that um, you're not really ready for um, what they're offering because of this energy of a lack of commitment. So I do feel like there is some sort of lack of trust here that you're, you know, feeling or embracing, okay? Because in the past, this person possibly wasn't very stable. I do see you putting some sort of boundaries uh, within this communication or within this connection here, which is going to be fair for you, right? And it helps your healing process. Um, yeah, I just feel like this person wants to come back in, okay? Well, let's get some more messages and see what this is about, okay? What is going on with Sagittarius' this person? What is this about, please? Yeah, so this is someone here that didn't make a decision in the past, right? Like you, you wouldn't want to make a decision or you didn't make a decision really, right? It was always the three of us. It was always someone else or I always felt like I wasn't very important to you here. And it's interesting because Sagittarius, I see you actually gaining your strength here within a situation. That's yeah. Within a situation I was stuck in for a very long time. I'm gaining that momentum, that strength of making decisions for other people when they're unable to make decisions for themselves. I see you doing that, right? Could be dealing with a Leo here. Okay, someone here that possibly has to make a decision or someone here that has to express how they truly feel. But I do see you putting a lot of uh, boundaries. I'm getting Sagittarius, right? I do see you having emotions for this person, but I feel like you um, gained a lot of knowledge from your past situations, okay? Your prior situations, okay? So there is a decision that is going to be made here, whether I'm going to continue with this or not. I feel like it's going to be a very clear uh, conversation that you're going to have with this person, okay? If you are connecting with a past Leo here or a past fire sign, there is an energy of this person possibly uh, connecting with someone else or haven't released a past situation as of yet here, which is putting them in this emotionally unstable place, okay? And now making them uh, feel as if they're afraid of starting something new. So definitely hear this person out. Yeah, Some, someone here gets a bit confused by someone's actions, Right, I'm a bit confused of what you want to do. I mean, I'm I'm a bit unsure. What else do we have? Sagittarius, please. Yeah. Has this person completely released their past, right? Are they ready for something new? Because I am, right? Sagittarius is like, I'm ready for something completely new. I'm ready. I'm I'm so ready. I'm ready to live. I'm ready to laugh. I'm ready to, to um love. So, you know, what, what's up? Nothing? Okay, yeah, this person, you may feel like they're a bit guarded. They're a bit apprehensive at times. Okay, yeah, a bit, and, and it's coming from a place of fear, really, right? Where you may catch this person in some lies here, right? You may feel like this person is deceptive. I personally don't feel like this person is really deceptive. I just feel like this person is trying to protect themselves. And while they're doing that, they're shutting out that energy of actually moving towards their dream come true here. Okay, because this is someone here that has been in a place where they've been manifesting true love. And the minute they found you or met you, however that happened, okay, there's this energy of them trying to protect themselves here, keeping secrets, not really telling you everything, okay, being very, um, you know, uh, small with their conversation or with their replies. Now, Sagittarius, just take this slow. OK, allow this person to open up to you first. Allow this person to come towards you. Allow this person to show you exactly what they are or not ready for. OK, is what I have for you guys. But I do feel like there's somebody that someone here is turning their back from. If this person told you that they uh, just came out of a situation, I do feel like they're uh, wrapping that up. OK, I feel like they're probably shutting this out. All right. We do have Capricorn energy here. And again, fire energy, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius that may be connecting with one another. A lot of passion, though. OK, what could my Sagittarius expect moving into this beautiful future? What do we have moving into this amazing future for my Sagittariuses, right? For their highest good. What do we have for this at this time? victory uh, and one more please yeah so someone here is completely getting over something there's something that you're getting over something that you are very stuck in mentally okay and again take this how this resonates could be your person but 
you know you know who you are here all right there's this energy of i was so stuck in thinking that i had to love this way that i'm about to switch up the whole script right i'm about to switch up the whole script here okay especially moving into um you know after uh after my birthday or in december or you know moving into the new year right let's get real I'm going to switch it up here in terms of, you know, how I approach love. Okay, so I definitely see someone here reflecting, right? With the hermit energy, could be connecting with a Virgo, right? Asking yourself, is this the type of love that I want to be in? And if so, then how do I progress in this? So I just see a lot of thinking going on, a lot of, um, you know, rearranging the way that you approach uh, certain situations, even dating someone that's out of your norm maybe coming in, right? I'm dating someone completely different, someone that has a whole different energy, right? I'm actually switching up the type of people that I try to date, okay? So I see you honestly really thinking and becoming wiser, okay? And I feel like this comes from a past situation that kept you very stuck, right? And you're now analyzing a situation, okay? So definitely, again, be patient with someone here. Uh, again, like I said, this could be Virgo energy that you may be connecting with or Gemini, Libra or Aquarius that you may find yourself connecting with. But again, this is a strong energy of I'm changing the way that I used to love. I'm creating some sort of boundaries here, right? I'm no longer going to try to force anybody to move in directions that they don't want to move into, right? All right. So what else do we have here for my beautiful Saji? So moving into this future, I do see, oh, look at this. I see you moving on so victorious so strong so um focused here look at this fire here it's like i know exactly i know exactly what it is that i want i know exactly um what it is that i've released in the past right where there is some sort of regret here in terms of possibly looking at like wow i've made i made some mistakes but you know in those mistakes i found myself so it's okay right um again i do see someone here just watching you so much right it's like they're acting as if they don't care that this is over but eh, i don't feel that this is someone here that's watching you right i feel like this person thought that you were going to be very um you know depressed or sad and down and out right because they didn't do anything or because they haven't been doing anything. But I don't feel like my Saggies are about that time. I feel like you're just really loving yourself, freeing yourself here. Okay. But again, there may be also, you know, if you are connecting with someone new, I feel like this new person is completely to some extent over the person that they're um, releasing or over the person that they may be with. Because I get this energy of someone here realizing that um, something's over for them. Okay. But moving into the future here, we do have this energy of, you know, you know, watch me like, you know, watch me do it. Watch me show you how I love myself. OK, because I see this person watching you. OK. Right. Someone you've been patient with, someone that, uh, you know, this person's very intelligent as well. I feel like this person thought that you were going to chase them. Yeah, no, I'm doing, I'm not doing that. OK. So let's see what the messages are for my Saggies at this time. Okay, let's get a message, a couple of messages for my beautiful Saggies, Sagittarius. What are the messages? Thank you. And we have Deceit here. Okay. Uh, and we have Rest and Rejuvenation. And we have Healer of the Ages. So someone here is healing that you may be connecting with or you're moving into this energy of healing. Okay. Okay yeah definitely healing at this time five okay so i do see especially okay and you know i like to do this so if someone here is in this energy of november 25th or 19th or december 19th okay or december 6th i'm getting december 5th okay summer 6 here there's this there's this turning point that happens for a lot of you in the month of december i'm feeling in terms of just feeling balanced here, in terms of, you know, really feeling out people's um, intentions. There's something about you. It's like I, I've i actually balanced myself out so well that I'm able to understand what you're going through or what you're not going through. It's like, for me, it's like you're not going to be fooled anymore, right? You're going to actually know what it is that you want. 
Um, there's something also about you moving into a career field that um, is more uh, balanced for you. Okay. Yeah. It's like I'm not going to let anyone take advantage of me as well as is what I'm getting. Okay. December 12th, December 11th as well. December 8th here I'm getting. Okay. So that's for some of you guys. All right. And also uh, 1129, whatever that may mean for you. Okay. I love you guys. Have a beautiful one. Stay beautiful guys. And again, of course, like if this resonates and also if you're interested in a personal reading with me, all of my information will be below and have a beautiful one.